Welcome back. I'm Jay. We've got Steve right here today. We're talking about your pictures. This is the Heads Up Show. Yes. I give you a grade. I try to make your Instagram and your Facebook look better. You guys have been doing a good job with your photos. We want to keep yeah. them coming in. So email them to pics at greengridiron.com. This is episode 31. Thank you very much. And if you make it on the show, you get a decal or something for free. And if it's like awesome, awesome, you might get a t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, that means when we give, if, if we really think it's awesome, we hit our big red buzzer or mm. pretend red buzzer, you get a pick, either one of us can do it. And we actually had a video a couple of weeks ago, Steve. I think we gave away two t-shirts? Three. 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 Well, two from me and one from me. Yeah, we'll yeah. see what happens today. Yeah. Let's start, shall we? First up, Bill. Yeah, so what I'm seeing here, these look a lot like the AMP series a little bit, but they're not. Yellow face mask, yellow matching chin strap, matches the yellow in the decals perfectly. He's got the yellow warning label on the back. He's got a U.S. flag on the other side of the warning decal. I would have flipped it and put the flag on the left-hand side of the helmet. Yeah. And what they are are two really nice collectible helmets that Bill has taken and really kind of made unique and made his own. And then he went out and got autographs on them. I say fantastic job. This is an average rating because if you're going to send in pictures of more than one helmet, you get the average of the two. Yep. Steve, I'm giving this guy an average rating of 9.3. Good luck, everyone else trying to beat that. I, I think so, too. It was a great I love collection. Them. Yep. I love them. They look like they could be ready for sale. Damn. Good job, Bill. That's high praise, man. Yeah, I love him a lot. <laughs> Next up, Levi. All right, Levi. I think Steve is going to like these pictures. I think I, I really like the pictures. The two of the front and the side. The one on the back, though, like what should have been in focus is not in it's focus. It's so, like focus on up here, right? Yeah, so that's a miss. But aside from that, I'm really liking the overall color scheme and the layout of the photos. I mean, good work. It's dark, right? It is dark. Would you? Do you think this is a real camera or do you think this is I a do. cell phone? No, I, I think that this was with a good DSLR. I, I like it. I like, I like all the blur in the background. I think yeah. that's, that's great. But I'm here to talk about the helmet. So what we have is, it looks like just a gray face mask. And I said last week, Steve, if you got a gray wet face mask, you automatically lose the points. <laughs> so, so Levi, you're losing a point for that. But where you're gaining the points is, again, matching the chin strap to the helmet. Obviously, that's a team thing. We got a nice Oakley visor in here. Mm -hmm. um, outside of that, it's pretty basic, pretty yeah. standard yeah. setup here. But I do like the way that that visor fits in that help, that face mask. Really nice. It's it's all good. It is all good. This is a few weeks old to this photo, so the pictures, take some time. I, I like the pictures. A lot. Pictures are great. So I'm going to give Levi here a six point six. That's not too bad. No, all right. It was a Riddell Speed with an Oakley and a matching chin strap. How would you say this next one? P A T O. P Pato. Pato. I'm going to go with P Pato. Pato. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one photo, but it's a good one. So he said this is his fresh paint job on his speed. It looks like it looks like a good paint job. It, yeah. This this has to be all uh, stenciled on here. It's like celestial. It makes me think. Yeah, of... but you could also kind of see it in one of the. Yeah. So I, I so I think it's like the company design, and I, it looks like there's a decal on the back bumper, which tells me that it's probably. The company name on the bumper. Here's where the fail is. The face mask. Yeah, if you, you painted the helmet, paint the face mask to match it. I think that we could, have, we could have gone two ways here. One, we could have just put on a silver face mask. Mm -hmm. What I, th I think would have worked real nice. And two, or two, just that blue. That blue would have looked really cool. And technically, if you really wanted to get crazy, you could do both. You could tape off the face mask as well. well you're right. And, and tape that. You, know, you, you taped off the helmet great job with the helmet face mask or face mask yeah it's a seattle blue it's kind of a stock color i would say it looks like it's a little banged up right if this is for a corporate event we need a visor we need a chin strap and if you're painting everything already we could paint the chin strap you could take the cup of the chin strap to paint it another color to match this so if you did a silver face mask you could do a blue chin cup or vice versa there's room for improvement it's good. The photo's excellent. It's hard to give, you know, off a one photo. So I'm going to go with a 7.1. Even after I kind of bashed it with it, there's wow. a lot more you could do to it. Just imagine where we would be. Jay's feeling good today. It's a lot of work on those on those. It is. Jobs. Hell yeah. It looked great. Nice and sharp. Next up, Spencer. 
Spencer might be a Chiefs fan. <laughs> oh, you think? And he supports the NFL and the Chiefs. So here's what we've got. We've got the 100 NFL football. Yep. We've got the Chiefs jersey. We've got the gloves. And obviously we've got the helmet. And then the helmet is correct in a lot of ways. This is a, this is a uh, looks like it's a Riddell authentic helmet. Yeah. And it looks, it looks great. Yeah, he cut and the then, chin straps to the little arrows there. Yep, He's yep. got. They don't come like that. So that was done after the fact. We do have some branding on that visor. Yeah. So that's kind of a no no to really be super authentic. And then we've got the black Under Armour visor clips. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. I think they wear white. Yeah, they do. Clips. Mm -hmm. I mean, what a great story from a fan. Nicely composed. He, the pictures are good. Like he's got them all in there tight in the corners. It, yeah. It's nice. I'm going to go with an 8.2. Man, good scores today. Very generous today. Yeah, thanks for that. Next up, Cyrus. He said these are his grandfather's, wow. his grandfather's high school helmets. I, I think. And I got to say, I don't even know where to begin with these old helmets like this. Right. Like, like, just imagine knowing what we know now. I know. People wearing these helmets. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's true when you talk about old cars, too. I mean, exactly. Can you imagine driving those a, things from the 50s and 60s? A 7,000 pound metal weapon. Death trap? Yeah. These are these are unbelievable, though. The, definitely the oldest on the show so far. Yeah, and you could tell that they've been painted and oh, kind of yeah. brought back to life. Well, most of them. Two, two of them have been. I think these are super cool. I don't really have a scale to, to measure these on, so I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna have to make one. I'm gonna go with a 8.5. Uh, wow, sure. Uh, next up, Kason. Kason? Kason. So the thing that jumps out at me is, is that shot from the front. When that picture opened up, Steve, the biggest thing that jumped out at me was that shock mouthpiece. Oh, I thought for sure the pink tape, because you don't love that pink, tape. Pink was number two. I don't love the paint. It's just the background. I was say, I like the mountains in the background. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of dark. Yeah, it is. It's kind of dark, but it, I mean, he's in the shadows. It looks a, cold as hell. It's a shut vengeance helmet with a Riddell chin strap. So that's kind of unique. I'm not I'm not a fan of the, the athletic tape. No. Or electrical tape or any other kind of tape that you put on. No place on the face mask. mask. Maybe I'm a purist, I guess, Steve. I don't hate it. Why don't you leave your comments below? Do you like tape on the face mask look or you don't like tape on the face mask yeah. look? Uh, I'm going to go with a 6.0 on this guy. You were being very... And no cool. visor. Could have done a little bit better job on the chin strap. That's true. A little yeah. bit. Yeah. Next up, Cal. Damn, look at that oversized decal. This, this actually looks familiar. Right. The closer and closer you get to them, the more imperfections you see. Look at how big that is. They're huge, and when they're huge, they, they, it comes with pros and cons. These are a pain yeah. to put on the helmets. Dude, he went over the chin strap, I'm just going to say. I have never. Oh, wow. You're not. Yeah, that's interesting. So, so, so all right. So we're, we're going to lose... Subtract some points for that. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Man. I would say for this particular design, you would remove the strap lock and the chin strap, cut a hole out, put it all back out on there. That's okay. Love the white face mask on that. Yeah, the bumpers. And too. from a distance, it looks great. Yeah, when it does. When it's up close, though, it's like it's like those tinted windows you see with <sighs> all of the bubbles in it. That hey, you if know, you're submitting it to this show. <laughs> got to be on point, yeah, man. Yeah, we, we got to be critical of this stuff because if we're not going to do it, we're going to get called out on for this kind of stuff. You're right. right. It's we, for our protection right. you're losing points. Exactly. So you're losing points. <laughs> you're gaining points because it's a cool look. It's a cool yeah. idea. You know, no, we you do know what you did. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go with a 5.7. Okay. That's not so bad. But I do like the black and white look and the map makes it look It was. Nice, it was so. good. Thanks for submitting it. Next up, Bodhi. All right, Bodhi. All right. So Bodhi here has the one of the hydrographic carbon fiber print Oregon helmets. We got an eight in the back. Mar Mar Marcus Mariota was number eight. Um, and then we got a Nike back there. I don't think that they ever wore the Nike logo anywhere on their helmets. So that I, I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and I'm gonna say that this is not something that was worn in the field. And I don't remember that. That's a nice thin stripe. So when you're doing hydrographic prints on helmets, you, get, you gotta have a stripe 
because there's a seam between the two sides. Yep. And that's exactly what this is. But what we have here is we have 3D bumper. We've got the eights um, that were put not only on the back of the helmet, but also on the Under Armour visor tabs up top. We've got a Riddell chin strap, and it's got a little sock on there as well. So overall, I think this is pretty good. That I'm going to guess that this is a collectible from Riddell or it went through Riddell's hands somewhere, and then it's been embellished with a few other things. It's nicely done. Great color combo. It really, really I works. Know, I don't know about the stripe. I, I, I'm not familiar enough with all of the Oregon designs. I don't remember ever seeing it, though. So let us know below. Is that something that they wore in the field or on the field somewhere? I like the placement of it on your little banister there, dead center, the yeah. one in the back. That's like good. It. Overall, pretty good. I like it. I'm going to go with that guy, Steve. I'm going to go with a 7.9. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. That's what I like. All right, next up, Trevor. So Trevor sent these in quite a few weeks ago. I'm trying to like go back in time because people are saying like, oh, where's mine? Um, it's got some stuff done to it. Yeah, so we got a lot of good stuff going on here. Obviously, Steve, we got another gray face mask, but that's what Alabama does. We've got a red Under Armour visor. I'm curious if Trevor turn this red himself or if he bought the visor like that he i don't know which one we've got the we have an embossed tech flag and an alabama flag on the back i'm going to put my money on that those came from us at Granger Arts. appreciate that trevor we got the scc logo on there i like that we have the warning label delete I love it. Going on. Love Just it. Throwing caution to the wind. Just get it out of there. Uh, we got the Crimson Tide 3D bumper on the back. Nice job there. And then we've got the, you know, a nice one inch stripe. So basically, what Trevor has done here is inverted the Alabama colors, and then we've got a uh, the elephant on the visor. That's a decal on the visor. We've got some shock white clips. Looks really nice. A basic Riddell hard cup chin strap. Nice collectible for the shelf. It's really, really nicely done. The photos, colors really pop. It's just nice work. I'm going to go with a 8.2. Excellent. Nice. Thank yeah. you for that. Good execution. Great idea. I love mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Next up, Simon. All right, Simon. I, I'm sorry, but I love the American flag yes. just thrown on the warning label. Yes. So again, <laughs> caution to the wind. It's such an American thing to do, too. I love it. Like, ah, don't tell it me. It kind of is, yeah. Steve. I love that. So we got the rabbit ears on the ratchet strap, uh, chin strap here. We got a beast mode visor. Haven't seen many of them. True. Yeah, we've actually got a beast mode branded. Like, it says beast mode yeah, on the visor cool. for sale on the website right now. We just ordered some more. We sold out of our, our first batch of them. We've got the kind of the Michigan wings in a silver and pink, so that's kind of unique. Kind of. It's right? like a double decal. You see that? The pink's on top of the silver. Yeah. I've I, I, never seen that. Yeah. I, I, I've never seen that, but it's definitely that's double a, That's a way to do it. I think that's cool. That is it cool. It's a really nice depth. Oh, uh, I wish he did a, a little bit better job cutting out for the vent holes. Yeah, it's tough. Mm, it's a little rough. It's tough. I'm no good at that either. It's not bad. It's just everything else looks so good. It's not great, good. Steve. It's not, not great. great. It's not. No. Yeah. I no. love the pink and silver, though. And then we got a ton of award decals. And I'm wondering what you got to do. What's the difference between the skull and crossbones with eyes and without eyes? I, I'm thinking the ones with eyes are much harder to get because yeah. he's covered with the other ones. Yes. And then we got the airborne. I'm going to go with a 7.1. I love that score. I like that color scheme. That was really nice. Yeah. And next up, and last already, Ryan B. Great job with your pictures. So Ryan, Ryan's done something really interesting, and he get major kudos for that. And he actually kind of broke one of our rules. You see how the flags are kind of at an angle? Yep. But they're the same. Kind of, doesn't that kind of remind you of the, the Corvette flags? Uh, it's sure, yeah, that's right. Not Cross quite flag. as much of an angle, but I think that that's cool. We so we've got here. He painted the bumpers. Yes. Blue and white. Yep. So blue and silver maybe, but it right. might be white. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I don't think we've ever seen blue bumpers like that before. My man has like a straight up basketball or tennis court or something in his yard. You see that? What is that? 
that looks like a tennis court and basketball nice. at the same time. A, yep, and so we painted both the front and the back bumpers. That had, so it says Riddell in white on blue background. Looks like you pa might have painted the clips as well. I can't tell if that's just the, the shadows or not. Overall, this is nice, clean look. So this is a 360 helmet, Steve. Yeah, don't, don't see a lot of them. Don't see many of those. We got the chin strap Ooh. delete on this guy. You see it's got blue pearl in it? Oh, yeah. The paint? So this is not just a, your everyday white molded impregnated oh, yeah. helmet. The blue pearl looks good. Yeah, so this is a white, this is a helmet that was painted white and has some, some little flake in there. So that looked pretty good. And then, and then we've got the, the blue numbers on the back too to bring it all together. So I'm going to give this guy, we're going to end on a, an end on a strong note because we got a bunch of unique things in this helmet. I'm going to go with an 8.3. Okay. It's a little stingy compared to the rest, but you yeah. think? Yeah. A lot of work went in there. Oh, I know. I would have said nine. But there's no chin strap. True. You want to, you can give a nine without chin strap? No, you're right. All right. Maybe, I don't know. Kind of <laughs> good job, up. Jay. He was upbeat. He doesn't feel good, and he was generous with the scores. I was man. very generous, maybe because my brain's a little foggy. <laughs> yeah, you're Was lucky. I too generous? Let us know below. Am I too strict, or am I not strict enough? <laughs> Which do you want to see more of? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for watching. Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when we release our videos. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.